Hello everyone, thank you all for coming for today's build video, where today I'd like to present you a simple titan build that incorporates both friendly support and high DPS against any bosses or simple adds you face of any tier. I would say this is strictly best suited for modes such as Gambit or Strikes. Now this build will make full use of the code of the Siege Wave subclass, Polaris Lance and Phoenix Cradle and with all of them combined will provide a constant stream of sunspots for faster ability regeneration, insane amount of DPS and Sun Warrior always being active and always being available for you and your teammates. Now if you ever want a titan build that has great uptime, damage and support to play and uses code of the Siege Breaker all the time, then tune in for the rest of the video, I have plenty to show. So the build. Your subclass is the code of the Siege Breaker bottom tree which will provide us with the necessary buffs and most importantly the sunspot ability. For us to make full use of the Phoenix Cradle ability and to have Polaris Lance work as well, we need to have both Soul Victus and Soul Warrior active. Firstly, Soul Victus is for our use only, as this ability will allow us to regenerate health but also allow us to create sunspots via melee or grenades, or with the Polaris Lance of course. Secondly, Sun Warrior is where we will be able to get the buffs for both us and our allies to be active. With this ability now, by us passing through a sunspot, we will receive the Sun Warrior buff for 10 seconds, which will boost our melee and grenade regeneration speeds allow our super to last much longer by standing in it, and increase our personal damage. If our ally now goes through it, then they will receive the same buff provided and this is thanks to the Phoenix Cradle Exotic perk. If you wish to have the Sun Warrior perk last longer, then simply standing in it will provide a constant regeneration pool, and can also do a large number of damage with its duration if you have a large enemy standing in it as well, to the point of not even needing your own weapons or gear to fight back. Simply, at this point you could use your melees and your grenades just to take on one at any of kind, is that powerful. Now all the rest of the tree abilities will benefit us via our super, and then our grenades as well is simply down to you, but I chose Incendiary Grenade for its wide AoE blast, and potentially its direct damage it does. Next up is the weapons, which for your primary and heavy is down to you, and should best fit your playstyle as there's no specific requirements you need here. But do try and have a weapon with the Demolitionist perk, as that can help out with grenade regeneration, if you wish. Now your second one on the other hand will be the Polaris Lance Scout Rifle as this weapon here will allow us to create more sunspots while we use our abilities. How you may say? Well simple, Polaris Lance Perfect 5th perk allows our weapon to produce a delayed solar explosive upon the 4th position hit mate. Now this delayed explosion won't kill them outright at times and produce a sunspot, but if you get your target low enough on health and then use the delayed explosion on them, then you're 100% guaranteed to get the sunspot always, and that's pretty simple as the solar charge is stored until fired, so as long as you get the 4th position hit and then you get the delayed explosion, you can pretty much hold on to that until you're pretty much ready to use it on a low level add. Or if you want to, you can mix it up and use it on a boss, which I will tell you now does a lot of damage when you fire it over and over and over again, which I will show you later on. Now once you achieve it, not only will your teammates be able to get some warrior by passing through it, but it will also cause a constant damage stream within that area for a short duration, unless you stand in it to extend it. Now lastly we have the stats and armour. For the stats we want to spec into recovery, resilience and discipline. Ideally you want to hit either 60%, 75% which is recommended or more, so you can generate grenades at a much faster rate than normal. With that you'll be able to make a large number of sunspots and solar tick damage over time and will never worry about not providing enough DPS on your end. Like honestly, you'll never have to worry about it, you'll be the main focus point of all the DPS. Now for the armour, the only armour you need is the Phoenix Cradle Boots, which like I mentioned before, will allow your sunspots to last much longer and allow your teammates to receive the Sun Warrior buff. Except from that, you're free to pick and choose whatever armour you want, as long as you get the recommended stats mod as shown. Here are the following mods attached to my gear. Head, Discipline mod and Precision Weapon Targeting mod. Arm, Recovery and Enhanced Impact mod. Chest, Discipline mod. Leg Resilience mod, Titan Mark Resilience Distribution and Perpetration mod. And these two mods here will be allowing us to regenerate our super regeneration and our ability regeneration over time. Now if you have everything put together like shown, then you're ready to test the build out in PV environment. I currently tested this build out in the Tribute Hall against a War Beast, a Yellow Bar Cabal and a Major Cabal, and the results are pretty great. As shown against a red bar ad, I can pretty much take away all the health via a direct grenade and trigger my sunspot, or melee them to around 85% of health, and then let the rest of the burn damage do its work. Once that's done, I then stand in my crate sunspot and regenerate both melee and grenades at a fast rate, while my poor war beast respawns over and over and over again and continuously dies, 
for tests of course. Now while here I can either use my palace lamp to create more sunspots via crits and then use them for clean up ads or for my allies to go through or to use for both my grenade and melee to proc more while on the go. And this works all perfectly with each other. It works all in sync and this is something that you entirely want. You're not going to be focusing on just using one ability all the time but in fact you're going to be using everything that you've been given. So Polaris Lance and then you're going to be using your grenades and then you're going to be using your melee. But that's not the order you're going to be going in. It goes directly in the order that you want it to go in. So you can use your grenades first then use your melee then wait for them to recharge then use your Polaris Lance to create some more sunspots and repeat over and over and over again and you can just mix it up here and there. It works in the way that you want it to. And it's exactly the build that I wanted for people that just want to do support or people that just want a huge DPS build. Now enough of me basically rambling on about how great the build is. Against the Major Cabal now, we need to weaken them first before being able to trigger our Sunspot. Which using the Polaris Lance, once again, we can easily achieve that. As Lang and they crit with Polaris Lance return ammo to your mag every time. But one thing I've noticed is that it doesn't pull from your reserves. So in many ways, as long as you keep hitting a crit, you'll have near infinite ammo and delayed solar charge which also causes some serious solar tick damage. Like, have a look at this gamut clip here. It's kind of ridiculous how much damage you can pull off with just this weapon alone. Your light supercharged! Turn up the heat on that time You're in the lead. Take down that prime evil. And this gambit's yours. Watch your back. Invader incoming. You made that look simple. That right there is the power of the Polaris Lance with its near infinite amount of damage. Now imagine that against other bosses with easily hit crits as well. Amazing, but also scary as well. It's kind of a low tier scout rifle that not a lot of people talk about. But it is absolutely amazing against bosses and adds alike. Now best place to play this build personally would be Gambit of Strikes. Areas where you'll be in teams and up against adds that doesn't. Now it can play in PvP as well, but I found that to not be that effective overall. It's 50-50. You can try it and you may get luck with it, but I find that I tend to kill my targets way too quickly and then not be able to trigger my basically my special perk for my Polaris Lance. And then it, it just doesn't really flow that well compared to me playing in PvE. With our grenade of choice, we can go ahead and hit a multitude of targets for overall solar tick damage and hopefully trigger a sunspot if one of our targets die by it. When this happens, our teammate can go through it and trigger some warrior for themselves and thus have faster grenade and melee ability for 10 seconds. Or they can leave it where it is and let it weaken the others so they can finish it up from there. Now depending on their build, this can also benefit them a lot if they have a melee or grenade focused build where they can increase their uptime and damage by basically a lot. Now using this with a well coordinated team as well in Gambit for example can make any rounds you play trivialize. Including if you have other teammates that use the exact same build as you which can lead to some pretty funky stuff. I won't basically describe how well it performs but I recommend that you give it a go because against a really well crafted team this is something that you cannot penetrate unless you're some kind of PvE god of course. And then another thing to be aware of is that if you don't have any grenades left then we use a melee to proc sunspot and also get a grenade NG back thanks to the mod Enhanced Impact Mod. You may not have it so a simple impact mod is all you generally need but Enhanced Impact Mod I have noticed gives you a lot of energy back. Now if push comes to shove and you're in a terrible situation and you have neither your grenades or your melee then we have our Polaris Lance to fill the spot. And as long as we get our 4 crits to trigger the delay explosion and then aim anywhere but the head then generally you'll have constant stun spots wherever you go. It's generally a wonderful and simple build that synchronizes well with all the abilities it provides and you keep up the constant DPS over and over and over again without skipping a beat. It's so simple that honestly whether you're a pro player, a new player or someone that's coming back, this is one build that you can simply put together in your own spare time and pretty much go to town with it. Now there is only one bad side of the build I've noticed but it's not really that bad. Now use the Polaris Lance to activate its perk and then trigger Sunspot won't always work if you shoot a delayed solar charge on a low health enemy's target's head. Now what I mean by this is that the explosion will potentially kill them before the burn effect comes into targets. 
Now, if you want to prevent this, all you need to do is aim elsewhere on the body. And as long as they're low on health and you shoot your charge anywhere but the head, then you're fine. But that's the one thing I noticed a lot of with the build. I'll trigger the perk, I'll use the delayed explosion on their head, and the explosion will kill them, but it won't trigger sunspot. However, if I trigger it anywhere else but the head, the sunspot will always appear. But that there is a lot of testing around anyway. So it's not really that much of a big problem. And even if you don't get the sunspot, it's no biggie. You can create some more. It's really that simple. Like I said, it's a very simple and trivialized build. It's not really stat heavy. It doesn't require you to have any specific mods. It's really just so simple that, to be honest, you can just put it together in your sleep and just basically go to town from there. Now, the same goes for PvP as well, as most times you're not going to be triggering your Polaris Stance Exotic Perk all the time. And when you do, most times it won't even work or be in such an out of range area that pretty much is useless. Unless a whole group of teammates are bunched up, it's not really going to affect them. And unless you've got someone that's very aggressive, I mean, someone like a shotgun ape that's aggressive and it's going to make full use of your solar spots, it's really not that worth using in PvP. While in PvE, your team is going to be going everywhere to cover as much ground as possible and you get as many ads and enemies wherever they go. So really, I can see it being more effective in gamers such as Gambit, like I said, or generally strikes, where you be more aggressive with your builds and actually push up more and not have the chance of dying since you can have builds that's more specialised for these contents compared to PvP where PvP is more chaotic and like I said, Polaris Lance, it kills too quickly for me to actually activate the perk and make it that useful you can try it, but I'm just telling you now it's not going to be that effective for you but generally, that's everything you need to know about setting up your everlasting Sunspot build you're going to have a great time with this one as you have constant uptimes with your grenades, melee and Polaris Lance and you're going to be able to produce sunspots for your teammates and yourself for wherever you generally go. And of course, you're going to have amazing DPS outside of your own super. So, what's there more to love about this build? So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content. If you dig that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys in the next one.